Welcome back to the channel, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post the video. I'm getting ready to go in here and talk to you guys in this video because there's a lot going on inside of my heart that I need to get off. Me and the kids are going to take our showers and baths. We're about to get into this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post the video, and you will know Miss Nika post the video. Good night, guys, and have a blessed night. Stay safe. Hey, bookies, welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn on the case, post the video. You know, Miss Nika post the video. We just getting out the tub and the shower. Me shower her tub, but basically the tub, right? Say so we about to get ready to go for the bed, but I'm about to talk to you guys on some things that hit me heavy because I'm not understanding people in this life that we live. This world is very cruel and conniving and very evil. So we're gonna get into me talking to you guys about something that I want to address on my life and my youtube channel so we're going to get into it so i hope you guys enjoy this little chat and this little small little blar blar that i'm about to do before bed so enjoy all right so back to the chat um what i gotta say is personally honestly y'all i don't understand how people feel like you're supposed to be successful in this world if you i'm doing something I'm doing something. I don't need you to disturb me right now, please. Because y'all been doing that the whole time and you had a temper tantrum. I tried to calm you down. You didn't want me to touch you, but you kept hitting on me. So I got you calm. You done took a shower. Can I talk, please? I love you. All right, thank you. Anyways, back to what I was about to say. I don't understand how this world can be so cruel and so evil and so conniving. Like, it's so crazy how people can be. Growing up in my life itself with my, with my oldest two children, Naya and Papa was never this way. I guess because I was never on the internet like that. I never put myself out there like that. But now that I got myself out there on the internet, it's like people just taking little things that you do and making something out of nothing. Meaning like this. My car must have taken us in the damn store, a thrift store, to buy $3 shoes, um, 50 cent shirts, pants or whatever, and throw it on our backs for us to go to school. And ain't nothing, not in one time we go in there and shop for our school clothes. If we did, she would tell us we go in the thrift store, we pick out what we want to pick out. And we was always happy on what our parents, what my grandma got for us. It wasn't parents, it was just my grandma because my grandma was doing it by herself. Since my mama gave up on us, my grandma stepped in and took custody of us. The way the world is now when I see things in my vision of my mind, yo, I think about killing the motherfucker. Because it'd be like, it just, I want to kill him with kindness. Because I, I ain't got the guts to go and kill nobody. You know, so I just want to kill them with condoms. I just want to chew them out. Like, I just want to get on the so bad and be like, you know what? The things that you're seeing is irrelevant. The things that you're doing is irrelevant. And at the end of the day, what the... Back to what I was saying before Sai cut me off. Everything a person is doing is irrelevant. Like I said, I don't have the guts to kill nobody, but I could kill somebody. You know what I'm saying? Because everything that builds up inside of here, it explodes. But I tried my best to go and, and, and vent off and call my daughter on the phone and talk to her because that's the only person that can understand what we go through inside of our household. I'm not understanding how famous people deal with a lot of situations in their life when it comes down to, you know, social media. And a lot of times people turn off their comments and don't have their comments on, on their videos. And I understand why. But I try to give people the freedom and the right to come onto my videos and comment. I don't have to read the comments. I don't have to. But when you're going all out of proportion, about certain things in my household that I'm doing, such as cameras in my house, that's protection and safety for me and my children. You don't know what goes on in my house. You're not in my house. So what is it a problem with a famous person got cameras in their house and they famous? Like, what's the difference between Nika? I got cameras to monitor the kids when I'm not home. Where, where y'all get that shit from? The cameras in this household to, for the safety reasons of my children. Cameras in this household, if somebody break in my shit, I can know who come in my house. It's a difference. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, um, oh, I'm doing some illegal shit. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, people always try to be weird. Like, hey, I can't even say exact, exact words, but what the hell do my car got to do with anybody? What do my car got to do with anybody? My truck on the road and I got a, I, my car on the road. I got two vehicles, so I mean, like, I can get around from point A to point B. I can do what I got to do. At the end of the day, when I'm out here making these videos, it's for the sake of my children to have the things that they do want them. And I just told you to be quiet. You woke up and started one out of nowhere. You can wait a minute, I just told you that, didn't I? Be quiet. Go get out, Kai, 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 cut that can cut that off. Go in there and get a girl some, now, go in there. Go with Kai to the kitchen. Cause I just told you two seconds ago, let the drink get cold, but you don't want to wait till it get cold, right? No, go in there, go in there. Get it and then go with her. Get some drink. Go. Why are you looking at me? Go get some drink. 
You spoil me. I just told you that the thing get cold and you get some drink, but you don't want to wait, so we'll drink it hot. Anyways, these kids be running me up the walls. And like I was saying, I show my life and I'm not afraid to show my life. That's just one thing that I do. And like I was saying, now I'm here winding out for something to drink and I just told her let the drink get cold. After, okay, after you pour her drink, put it in the freezer for me. Now I'll go with her to get your drink. I told you to wait. You don't want to wait, you want to drink it hot. So I don't have no ice in the house. I'm not going to no store right now. It's too late. Anyways, all I think about is my children, you know, well being and I'm not doing nothing to harm these kids in any way. And it's just we just in this house together. Like I say on my YouTube channel, you can't you can't trust certain people. You gotta be mindful who you have around you and have in your house too as well. I thought about a lot up here. And see my mind goes a million places. I don't know who talking, who saying what, who doing this, who doing what. I don't understand these people in this fucking world, Lord. I mean, it is hard to trust anybody. When you try to trust somebody, it's hard to trust them because you'd be like, you know what? Do I really want to go and talk to this person about this? Or I really want to be around this person? Or I really want to do this? Who can I trust? And I be hearing that shit in a lot of artists' music. Like, you can't trust nobody, yo. You can't trust nobody. And then my thing is like this right here. A motherfucker ain't going to talk to me like I'm a fucking child. I done been through my baby stage to my toddler stage to my preteen stage to my adult stage to a grown ass fucking woman and ain't nobody gonna talk to me any kind of way that's one thing i'm not gonna deal with that's one thing i have zero tolerance for i i, I don't like no shit like that because for one with me personally I'm, I'm a i'm a humble human being if i'm listening to what you have to say stop slamming that damn toilet you ain't gotta slam the toilet bro you slam it like three times why don't you go take your behind in your bathroom and stop slamming my damn toilet for y'all break that? I love you get out that. Y'all break everything in the house. And everybody wondering what was going on in here. Y'all breaking stuff. We can't never have nothing in this house because y'all always breaking stuff. Sit down. Anyways, I just I, I I'm a humble human being. If I'm talking to you like a soul, uh, a person that's not yelling at you, you need to calm your tone down. If I'm talking to you or you just talking to me, it's a way that you talk to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, first of all, I don't deal with internet trolls. Second of all, I don't deal with nobody that comes on my property and tell me what I should or should not be doing with my children or how I should be doing things when I know who's in my house when I leave here. I know who in this bitch when I leave here and I know who in here when I'm gone. You can't clarify some shit that's going on in my household if you're not in here. And that's the thing with the internet. They want you to show every inch of your fucking life and put your life all the way out there and show every time you leave your house and who's supposed to be in your house. That's not Nika. You don't know if my son in here. You don't know if my daughter in here. You don't know if my girlfriend in here. You don't know if I ain't with no nigga, so it ain't that. It ain't that. You don't know if Keisha here. You don't know who in my house. If you don't know who in my house, then how you gonna go assume on what, what, what somebody got going on in, in their own house? What I show on the internet is what I show on the internet, but it's nothing bad. Like, I make videos of me and my children every day. Most of the time, my kids will run across the camera when I'm in the kitchen cooking. I post a video last night on my YouTube channel showing my house in my kitchen what we do for fun. Why I can't live my life the way I want to live my life? Because I was buried down in the house for years and couldn't get out and go nowhere like I was in fucking prison. Now I'm free. I can do what I want, when I want, and how I want. I'm going to do whatever I can to protect my children to the best I can. Because like I said, the first time my kids were taken out of the house with false allegations with CPS, that was the wrong way to go because they didn't have court orders. And now these motherfuckers are trying to think, oh, well, these kids going through this, the kids going through that. These kids ain't going through nothing. Now they're right here right now, laying on my lap after just fussing with her about something to drink. These kids ain't going through nothing. These kids are spoiled, ruined, and rotten. Right, and y'all still going on and on about Kira Rotten and teething her goddamn mouth when y'all sitting up there saying procedure. If my baby got to get procedure or surgery, it doesn't even matter which one it is. She still got to go through surgery. That's why I'm having a private life during that time because I'm going to need to focus on my baby. Right now, I'm going to be dropping these videos until I get ready to take her to the hospital and get down there. When it's time for me to go in the hospital with her, I'm not dropping no video until after the fact. Because I don't need all that negative shit on my mind when I'm trying to go out here and take care of my child. Right now, I'm a shine and I'm a grind to the day I die. But I'm a shine and grind to make sure these kids got everything they need and want at this time of our life. Regardless if you like what I post or not. It's not me to get up here and discriminate on anybody in any way because I don't do that. Sometimes I get on people's channel, I'm a solid watcher. I don't say nothing. I'm not going to get up here and get on camera and bash anybody. But due to respect, if you come on my property, if you come on my YouTube channel, Instagram, Facebook, anything with all that negative crap, 
it's a done deal because I'm not going to deal with nobody telling me what I should or should not be doing for one and for two I listen to everything somebody tells me but I be calm cool and collected when it comes down to talking to people you know what I'm saying at the end of the day I'm doing everything I can to protect my children the best way I know how I don't know motherfuckers watching my channel just like CPS watches my channel I would never disrespect anybody any human being but motherfuckers got kids too they got to live for so they got to think about that situation too because the same way I think about with my kids I got to live for my kids is it worth putting a bullet to somebody's head is it worth dragging somebody through the mud is it worth beating somebody up no it ain't worth all that and that's what the internet all about they got all that mouth behind these glass screens but at the end of the day if you come up in person would you willing to would you willing to do that no i'm not willing to fight nobody that's one thing i always say i'm not fighting nobody i'm not fighting no i'm not fighting nobody that's one thing nika would not do i don't give a damn what happened in this world whatever may take place i'm not fighting nobody but one thing I will do when it comes out to my children, if they get in a fight and something come up, I tell them, fight. That's y'all. Y'all got to fight your battle. But me personally, I'm just being a grown ass when my grandma dead and gone. Y'all got my raise me in and I'm, I'm out here now. I put my life out there on the line. I showed my life. I showed what we do. My kids got taken one time only from the TikTok app and, you know, probably Instagram because people was talking because I would go live all the time. But before, my life was never on the line like this. And all I think about every day of my life is trying to live. People dying every day. Every day. Gun violence. Domestic violence. Suffocation. Homeless home. Uh, what's they call that thing? Suicide. You got to have a stable mind to deal with the internet. If you don't have a stable mind to deal with the internet, don't deal with it at all. Because me personally, honestly, I'm going to get up here on the internet every day of my life and post as much as I can to do what I got to do to provide for me and my kids. But there's no way in the world I'm going to sit up here and stop what I'm doing for somebody telling me what I should or should not be doing in my life. I'm not doing anything wrong but showing the real shit and motherfuckers hate that. They hate that Nika shows the real. I don't understand. A mother of 10 that God gave me 10 beautiful children to love when my grandma left me here on this earth alone to do this and I'm doing it. I'm 100% a strong woman, yo. I will never give up on anything that, I, that I'm fighting for. But like I told y'all, I'm going to have privacy when it comes down to cure surgery. <clears throat> I know a lot of you guys do support me and a lot of you guys do love me. I understand that. I'm the same way here with you, with a lot of y'all. But I will never stop and never give up the fight on anything that I'm doing. And like I told CPS, um, when I talked with them, the last time I talked with them, I told them straight up. Like, I'm doing everything I can to possibly take care of my kids. I'm doing everything in my power to make sure they got everything they need and want. These kids ain't want for nothing. If I don't have furniture in my house, oh fucking well, I don't have no furniture because I'm getting ready to move again anyway. So why were to put all that furniture in my house and gotta move again? Anybody feel like doing all that mess, man? That's one reason why I ain't put all that stuff in my house. I know I'm getting ready to move again. How many times do you, do you go through a situation in your life that you don't get tired of the same thing repeating over and over again that you just want to give up on it, but you keep fighting, trying to fight through the trying to fight through the battle every day of your life due to the internet trolls and the haters out here in the world trying to take you down, but you ain't letting that shit break you or make you at all, and you still going forward and doing everything you got to do. Just like I say, it takes a lot of encouragement to be on the internet to show your life because I watch a lot of people out here on the internet alone with children or without children out here making their life a miserable hell by going out here trying to do everything they possibly can to put themselves out there we can't do that we got to keep going my life was a miserable hell sometimes i'd be like man i don't know if i should stop or go like show a different content without the kids or just do eating and then see how that go i'm gonna I'm switch the game up because it's like every time you turn around there's always something about my fucking kids in the comments like with Kira was just screaming a few minutes ago I read the comments and said why don't you give her love I give my baby plenty of love Kira has temper tantrums. y'all sit in this house with me for a day it goes constantly on on and on and on and when I pick up and try to hold her she kicks me and bite me and everything bite me kick me and everything that's why I had pulled the camera now that y'all see how patient I am I don't touch this child these kids have not no bruise marks or nothing on their bodies I sit up here and just look at her like she crazy Cause my grandma person honestly my grandma was living my grandma would tell me bring over here to my house let me whip her ass she'll be all right but one thing about the whole thing of life when i think about it all when my grandma was in that casting and that casting clothes on there i think about my life gonna be the same way one day but i want to let my legend be alive like i don't know why i say legend all the time that's something that i say don't judge me but um 
I want my I want to be out there. I want y'all to understand and know when my cast is closed and I'm gone, a lot of people gonna really be like, now you know, I really love it, Nika. I really love watching her. I loved it, her kids, and I truly adore her and her kids. And she was a real one. She was a mother who took care of her kids. She did everything in her power to do what she had to do. A lot of you guys gonna be like, damn, you know, I really love this girl, you know, I watch her YouTube channel, I watch her from TikTok, and she never gave up, she always been out there fighting. One day I might be to the top before I do die, and when I do, the haters still gonna come after me, because regardless of what I may be doing, that's right or wrong to them, they still feel like in their heart, they wanna shut down everything that I got around me. But that's one thing you're not gonna do, is try to shut down my whole thing I got going on with me and my children. They feel like I can tear down every damn bridge that she got, she trying to build. It's not gonna happen for you to, it's not that easy just to let go. All I know, I tell people eye to eye with this camera, I only love the ones that respect me truly. I only agree and disagree on certain things that people have said about me and my children. Yes, I do take advice from certain people, but when it comes down to my life itself, my grandma gave me power. She gave me hope. And the reason why I'm still standing here today is because of my grandma and my beautiful children. That God gave me to love and to hold to death do his part. That's like a commitment and not a statement. It's not like a marriage because it's not, but it's just, you know, in the fine lines. I just want y'all to understand. I come on the camera tonight before I go to sleep to get everything on my mind to let y'all know. Everything goes over women. It goes down to the heart. I can explode any day. Nobody wouldn't give a fuck with these kids again. But I let y'all know what's going on through here because mentally, physically, and emotionally, dog, God is what holding me together from me spazzing out on certain people on the net that I already know who in my inbox talking crap but you got these dummy ass accounts and coming up there saying things now when you get blocked you come back with another account that's just how obsessed you are but if you don't have you know you know what my grandma always say if you don't have nothing nice to say don't say it at all and by that note I'm gonna get off this video don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on the notification post a video and you will know when I post a video because I'm gonna start changing up my contents to where it just